will be reduced to the minimum. Our current world number two out of Switzerland, Les Maricottes, to be exact, is Jeremy Heights. He has a project going on, a two-year project called La Liste. Google it, you will be blown away by the speed he does in big, big mountains. This kid's incredible. Plenty of podium fin finishes on the Freeride World Tour. Looking for another one here. Out of the five events last year, he finished on the podium four times. Second place here in Andorra last year. So you definitely know he's going to be uh, gunning <coughs> to take over the, the hot seat from Spain's Aymar Navarro, who is currently going on the first, going over his line in his head there. Yeah, like there is, there is no margin of error or no margin of uh, being a little off your, your track because with his speed, you have to be right on point to knock off uh, the local at the moment in the hot seat. And who else could do it better than uh, Jeremy Heights? Last season, he found a really good mix of competing and filming with his project La Liste. He was uh, busy all over <laughs> April and uh, May. We had a great session together in Canada and Alaska, filming for a really nice project coming up soon called Quattro Road Trip. More about that later on. And La Liste, for those of you who don't speak French, means the list. So uh, something along the lines of Jeremy's bucket list of gnarly places to shred. <laughs> and uh, this list is all about lines that is that are around his home place. He lives in Les Maricottes, or he lives in uh, in the Valais, in the Valais area. In the Valais region of Switzerland, the French-speaking part of Switzerland. And this is surrounded by 4,000 meter peaks, and those are on his list. And he doesn't want to just ride them down, he wants to fly them down. Yeah. Okay, and here he is, flying onto the course, Jeremy Heights. Don't get hooked on up on those rocks, please. Look how thin this is right there. He has to really take care of it. Now he's getting into the line with full speed. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, you, 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 you. The on-site speaker just was at a loss for words. Yeah. And the guy, the guy's <laughs> been, the guy's been going off all day long. I mean, and that just shut him up. <laughs> I love it. So Jeremy Heights, we said, fast and furious. Is, is our unofficial motto for him, exactly. He starts as he finished in Verbier, full throttle into gnarly parts. Now coming into the bottom section of the venue with a straight line, oh. triple, oh. and making it look so easy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> He's insane. Okay, top, oh, to, bottom. Yeah, 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 top yeah. to bottom in about two seconds. That and he just, he just straight lined that bit where Normally everybody puts in about five or six turns. He's like, no, that's cool. Now there, is, speaking of the straight line, there it is. <laughs> straight to the left, straight yeah. down, straight to the left again, straight down. Thank you, Jeremy Heights. That was very, very impressive. Moving into the top spot. I don't even need to wait for the judges to tell me that. Yeah, that is The obvious. only question now is, is, is there anybody <laughs> left in the field and there's 20 some riders yet to drop. And there we go, that's the best judging criteria we've seen all day, pretty much green across the board. Fluidity, don't get much, much, much more fluid than that. You just go no. straight top to bottom and you, know, you, you know, put the green up to 10. You see the, you see the ski? Yeah, he definitely hit some rocks somewhere along yep. the line. Could have been uh, that very bottom where he nearly crashed. I mean, And look at this entry just... into that small chute. Craziness. Oh, and, and then it's it's not. I a, was always more impressed yeah. by this because that's just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> in a good in a good sense of the word, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> I've skied the couloir just next to it, and then I realized that there is quite a lot of grass at the bottom part. Yeah. So he knew that uh, he knows that also from last season. Very smart that he from that point on he knew he can kind of get away with uh, riding overdrive spots and look at this score 87.5 and we have a new leader ladies and gentlemen okay